Our first one is Stan Brock. Look at that curly-haired guy down there in the end, huh? Man, that's good-looking hair. Stan Brock, football, class of 1979. Stan was the first-team All-American by the Sporting News as a senior in 1979 when he was a unanimous first-team All-Big 8 performer and a CU team captain. Winner of the John Mack Award is CU's outstanding offensive lineman voted by teammates that same year. Played in both the 1980 Senior and the Hula Bowls. He was a first-round draft pick by New Orleans, the Saints, in 1980 in the NFL Draft. Played in 234 career games with New Orleans and the San Diego Chargers. At one point, by the way, played in 112 straight games. He's played the most professional games of any, U, any CU alumni in the National Football League. Stan went into coaching after his playing days, including a two-year stint. He was a head coach at Army, and he started as a head coach in the Arena League with the Portland Forest Dragons. He served several years as a color analyst on radio for the New Orleans Saints, and uh, he has joined us uh, at least once in the past in our radio broadcast and did so in Oregon. In fact, he's in the media up in Oregon right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Hall of Famer, Stan Brock. Those lights are bright. Two minutes, that's what they said. I said, how long can my speech be? They said two minutes. It's not happening. You can turn your stopwatches off. It's not going to happen. Rick George, thank you very much for this is a great honor. What are the things that you've done for our family and bringing, <clears throat> bringing everyone here? Harper, come here. Come here. I want you to relax a little bit. Harper's a little bit shy. <laughs> but uh, Rick, you did a great job bringing everybody here and, and bringing the whole family together. It's fun. Uh, so really. A couple of questions. Number one, is that really the best picture that we could find? Uh, either that or uh, the coaches didn't tell us that we were having our pictures taken the next day. I didn't get my hair cut. Uh, I am very proud and very honored to be here. Uh, I feel like I'm representing uh, Coach Mallory and his staff in the night, the, basically the, that era in the 70s. And I'm really honored to be a part of there's just three of us now. When they, when Mark gets inducted, Mark Haynes gets inducted, uh, there'll just be three of us from Coach Mallory's class. And uh, this was a class of guys, when Coach Mallory came in here, his thing was all about family. His thing was all about us working hard and, and being together. And that's what makes this so special. I have a bunch of my uh, teammates and former teammates are, are here. And I'd like to have them stand and be recognized. Some of these guys I played with, some of these guys are just a little bit before me, but I'd like to have you guys please stand and be recognized. This is part of Coach Mallory's class. Yeah. It's, it's, it's awesome. Um, there's a guy who, uh, Coach Mallory couldn't be here. He called me the other day. He really wanted to be here, but he couldn't make it, uh, but his, his daughter, Barb, is here representing the Mallory family. So, Barb, I'd like to recognize you. Please stand up. Thank you very much. Yes. Barb was a big part of it. And then uh, the guy who coached, uh, coached me, uh, George Blue, so special. So we they taught me more. He taught th that whole coaching staff. They taught us way more than just football. Football was uh, a byproduct of the things that, that we really we learned. We learned about being together. We learned about how to compete. We learned about uh, the things that it takes to be a winner and to be a champion. And sometimes the scoreboard doesn't work that way. But our freshman year, we were, we were big eight champions. And that's, that's pretty damn good. We beat Oklahoma and lost to Nebraska. That was, that was our, our deal, played in the Orange Bowl. But Coach Blue, I'd like to recognize you, please, if you'll stand up. Coach Blue. Coach George Blue. And Coach is here with his beautiful wife, Janet. My kids are all, uh, they're all here. Can I have my girls, will you stand up please to be recognized? Not all of them. I, one's at home, she's pregnant, getting ready to have another baby so that we can have our grandchildren. But uh, all my kids know them as Uncle Coach and Aunt Janet. So that's how it's always been. 
Um, to wrap this up, I just want to make sure that everyone knows that this is not about me. This is about us. This is about us. This is about Mark Conkar, who raised Matt Miller, who raised Stan Brock, and the things that Matt Miller taught me about how to compete and how to stay on the field. And we, we didn't take water breaks. There were no water breaks back then. And you were actually weak if you went over and got water. And uh, Matt basically taught me that, you know, that's, you don't, you don't leave the field. Um, you, you, you just don't. And, and you can be hurt if you want to, but you get treatment on that another day, but you get your butt back out on the field. Uh, Coach Blue taught me the toughness. And so this is not about me. This is, this is about us, the, the University of Colorado. Um, and I'll say one more thing about that. I am a very proud. Uh, I, I was born and raised in, in Portland, Oregon, but I'm very proud that behind my name through the 16 years in the National Football League, it always said Stan Brock, University of Colorado. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Okay. We're good. Oh, wait, I'm gonna, I want to introduce my grandkids, okay? Just have to deal with it. If you don't like it, just deal with it. This is Peyton. Peyton, wave. Peyton, wave to everybody. Wave to everybody. The Peyton. And this is Brock. Brock is our oldest. He's eight. And this is Bryson. Bryson, Bryson has seizures, so uh, he wears a helmet. And I called my buddies down in the Saints, and they sent him all the Saints logos, and he's all sainted up. And I think when we leave here, we might have some Colorado stickers to put on there. This is my grandson, Henry. Henry is eight. They're both my oldest. This right here. This is Lennon. You better sign him, Rick. I'm telling you, you better sign him. This is Bryson. I'm sorry, this is Bennett. Thank you. This is Bennett and Harper. Okay? So thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Okay, love you guys. Okay, here we go. One more time, I have a round of applause for Hall of Famer Stan Brock. Isn't that awesome? So that's what happens when you have that many grandkids. You need a roster. Make sure you keep track of all of them. All right. Uh-oh. Okay, wait, I forgot one. Uh-oh, see? I better recognize my wife, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Tell me you've never made a mistake in your life. Lori, will you please stand up? Lori and I got married after our sophomore year here in Boulder, Colorado, and our oldest daughter, Sarah, was born here at the, uh, in Boulder Hospital. So there, am I good? Thank you, Chuck. Hey, Stan, I hope you're going to be comfortable sleeping with that trophy tonight because you're not sleeping with her.